after 12 years in charge, having been involved with the club for 29 years, since 1995, in a sort of Klopp-esque manner, you could say that, with that departure video, in which he just says that, I am resigning, um, and similar vein, and we have to acknowledge this in terms of the managerial profession, it takes a lot out of you. And it seemed, and it, it had been brewing for some time that it was just a matter of when, but Christian Streich then finally announced his his, reg his resignation at the end of the summer. That how do we how do we describe a man like Christian Streich, not only for Freiburg, but for, for German football and who how he carried himself as a as a manager, as a as a and as a person. First time I was at uh, Freiburg doing Freiburg for Top Spiel with Sky Germany. I was uh, we were sitting, we had yeah, the table on the, the chairs in the corner, so we were very, very close to everything. They, they, the players used to hit us with balls when we were sitting there. And uh, then I, uh, I looked at the warm-up and I saw this guy suddenly running forward and back with the team in his jeans and a training jacket. And I thought first, I mean, for two seconds, I thought that was a fan who had climbed over the fence and doing the warm-up with them. And I said, who in the whole mother of world is that <laughs> man? And they said, that, that is Coach Streich. That was a coach who was actually running with them forward and back, doing the warm-up. He, he was not only doing the warm-up, he, he was just running. And running in his jeans, doing some stretches and everything. And, and I'm not saying that from that moment I loved him, but I think every footballer will, or every football fan will love him. Because the thing with Christian Streich is that he's different. He's different not only in the terms of the years that he stayed there, Marcus. There is a tradition at Freiburg uh, to stay for a long time. Before him was Volker Finke. But Streich stayed also, uh, started as a junior coach, knew all the players, managed to take them into the club. I, I was always when coaches were arriving in Porsche and big BMWs or Mercedes, he was cycling to co to training. He was different. He's been different. Thank God that kind of manager type can still be around. Uh, he is also very generous. You saw that with the way he uh, complimented Archie, our friend from, from ESPN. And he's, he, he just told him the last home game, you're just a good guy. I, I like you. And I think that... It, that is so cool to see in our tough, tough business doing things like that. That is right. Everybody loved to play him. I saw um, I saw an Instagram post from uh, Niels Pettersson, who played there, of course, who uh, retired. And he just uh, says something, I, I bow myself in respect for, for, for you and what you have done. <clears throat> so Christian Streich, there's always been a, a discussion because based on his uh, success, could he do the same thing in other clubs? Which is an interesting discussion because Freiburg has been Streich. Streich has been Freiburg. So the trend now that the Xavi, Klopp, uh, Streich now, they, take, they, they tell us early that they're going to end. They, they will probably take some time out. I guess Streich at the moment now, the rest of the season, the last eight games of the season will be... a. Will be he will be honored by his opposition. He will be honored by his home crowd. But the funny thing is that at some stage you will miss yourself. You will love to go back. You will love to have that thing. I mean, yes, you can have a great family. You can have a great house, and it's great to have your spare time. But imagine when you've been doing that job for so many years, as right has done. That is not only a part of your life; it is your life. So it's going to be interesting to see if he comes back, where he comes back. I see some speculations that Streich could be the new Bundestrainer and the national coach. I'm not sure that that will be his stuff because I think Streich is, is the guy that needs to be on a training ground every day. And I'm, I also doubt a bit that his uh, international pedigree is on the level that you need. Maybe you need more experience on that in terms of the European Cup and everything. But, I mean, he's a, he's a great man. He not only is a great coach as a human being, always stand up for for, the, for great values. He, 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 his philosophy of uh, his coaching philosophy is based on values and uh, 
so one of the greatest in in German football right now has uh, has announced his retirement Monday. Yeah, and, and like you say, he was a um, he was he embodied very much Freiburg. A lot of people cannot remember Freiburg without Christian Streich, but as well in terms of what I guess from an outsider point of view, we tend to associate with German football is that. German football is one that is more socially oriented, perhaps, um, than than other leagues. And and he was a an, an outspoken sort of um, critic of whether it relates to far right uh, issues, whether it was more inclusivity for 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 women within the top positions. It was just a a, a man that that sort of, in many ways, um, stayed consistent with his integrity and his goodness throughout and i think that is uh such value in in sort of the modern football and the criticism that we have um i mean the fact that you say that we ha you had Volker Finke there before as well he'd been there for a while bear in mind he'd taken freiburg to europe but he also got relegated with them stayed there for a season got promoted back and then they've been to europe four times and now obviously went out to west ham but for some for a club like freiburg he sort of redefined the, the expectations of, of, of what to ask for them.